Have you ever wondered why a spinning top can stay balanced upright on a small tip? This happens because of a physical quantity angular momentum acting along its axis of rotation. A car moving along a straight line possesses linear momentum. But for an observer standing at point say M, car makes a position vector R with respect to observer. As the car moves, the position vector also changes and observer experiences some angular displacement due to change in angle. Thus, it can be concluded that every moving object has angular displacement about a point of reference or axis of reference. Hence, it has angular momentum. For a single particle, angular momentum is the moment of linear momentum. It is mathematically equal to the cross product of position vector R and linear momentum P. Angular momentum is a vector quantity and its direction can be find out by right hand rule. For this, place the two vectors tail to tail. Place fingers of right hand in the direction of position vector R and curl the fingers in direction of linear momentum P. The thumb will then give the direction of angular momentum. Angular momentum is always perpendicular to the plane made by position vector and linear momentum. The magnitude of angular momentum is Rp sin theta, where theta is the angle between R vector and P vector when joined tail to tail. Angular momentum can be given by the relations linear momentum times perpendicular distance from the axis of rotation and transverse component of linear momentum multiplied by the distance from the axis of rotation.